upgrades. So way back when I made this video uh, about, you know, talking about turbo upgrade for the truck. And you might be able to hear in the background a little bit of a turbo whistle. Um, so previously we were sitting at like 800 degrees, like the lightest cruise I could at maybe 65, 70 miles an hour. Well, I'll show you guys where we're at. So the hottest I've seen it so far is right when I turned it around. I'm sitting at, you know, high 600 EGT, low boost. And so this is our new cruising temperature, which is like ice cold. Um, for the custom 64, 66 that we did, um, with the small, it's all like Chinese framed and Garrett CHRA. Uh, the wheel is from Revolution Turbo for both compressor and turbine. And I did a divided T3 steed speed. Um, yeah, California roads are like, might as well be off roading right now. Um, the steed speed is a custom two piece. Billet two piece welded steel uh, and it's T3 divided so the, the front three and the rear three are in their own volute for the turbo. And then you've got that's now being fed on a 083 or 082 turbine housing. So factory is like 0.7. So you would think we're giving up some response. We're not. Like this thing when I want to, like I've had lightly rolling into it, this makes boost earlier than factory. It is smoother than factory at low speed. And while it doesn't hit that initial torque that's like instantaneous, insta spool, I prefer this power band because it doesn't blow through the transmission instantly, which I think was really the main, the main fault of the factory turbo. Um, but like here, I'll give it a little, give it a little juice in a second. I'll show you guys, but the overall setup, like on the top end is just insane. It'll hold under 1100 degrees sustained, um, while letting the truck rip out to just whatever speed. Um, so it's a completely, completely different experience than what the truck came as and I think this is a better balance for what we're trying to do for towing because look I'll show you we're towing we're at 2,000 rpm to 65 miles an hour this is like we're at tow at okay so I want to be making some semblance of power here and you know we're, we're cruising we don't need to be making a, a bunch of boost and throwing fuel out for no reason and when this is loaded down at the trailer, obviously it's going to be generating probably a minimum 300 degrees more each T and a minimum probably 8 PSI to just maintain down the road. So traffic's a little dense here, so I wasn't going to, I was going to get on it, but it's kind of taken out for traffic, but we can do a little skirt skirt a little bit. I'll put that in another video so you guys can see that. But for now, this is as far as like a calculated base and where we thought we were going to be, we nailed it. Like this thing is just super, super chilled out for, uh, for cruising. Uh, I think we have about a two and a half mile per gallon bump right now and the transmission is still the same one, which is why we're driving out two and a half hours a day ago. Dropped this thing off for a buddy to do transmission work. Uh, but like, I cannot explain to you guys, just, it's like, like, it's there. <laughs> you need it, it goes. So, I'll try to do that one more time, but I, uh, <laughs> I'm very impressed. Very, very, very impressed with what we did. Ball bearing, 64, 66, it just fucking gets it. So, I'm happy.